Hi, I'm Scott Bradford from the Rio Grande Jewelry Tech Team, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use the melting furnace for the Fuser 500 microcasting system. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at everything that's included in the kit. So we have the melting furnace itself, the power cord for the melting furnace, we have three flask cradles that correspond to the flasks that come with the Fuser 500 casting system, two ingot molds, one for making flat stock and one for making round stock, a pair of tongs for grabbing our flasks, our crucible, a crucible cover, a ceramic plug that's going to plug this hole, and a securing arm to keep the plug in place so we don't lose any heat inside the chamber. And lastly, we have a paper gasket, which is gonna help us pull vacuum on the flask when we start casting. Okay, so now let's go ahead and assemble this. So, so the first thing I need to do is I need to install the crucible. Now, on, on the side here, this is where the metal is gonna come out, this little hole here on the side. So we need to make sure that our pour spout aligns with this hole here. So I'm just gonna drop that down inside, make sure that it's seated, and there we go. Next, we're going to install the crucible cover. Uh, it doesn't matter which way it goes in, it can go in any way you wish. We're just going to very gently set that down in there on top of the crucible. Next, is the ceramic plug. We're going to install that in the hole on top of the crucible cover. And then the securing arm, it's threaded. It has a screw right here, but this hole is not threaded. It's only supposed to be friction fit. So all you have to do is just put it in there and push it down and that's it. And that will keep that nice and secure and we can just slide it out of the way whenever we wanna view what state our metal is currently in. Now lastly, we have the power cord. So, very simple, we'll just plug the power cord into the back and plug it into a regular 110 outlet. Okay, so now that we've got this all put together, let's go through what the casting process is going to look like before we go uh, and actually do a live demonstration. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide over the securing arm and I'm gonna remove the ceramic plug. Now I can add my metal to the, to the hole on the top of the crucible cover, replace the ceramic plug, and replace the securing arm. Next, I want to select a flask, uh, a flask cradle that corresponds to the size of my flask roughly. So something like this will be just fine. The large is a little close to what I have right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the medium flask cradle. And I'm gonna put that in this rail just like that. We don't have to worry about pushing it forward just yet. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that here in just a sec. So next, I'm gonna grab the paper gasket and I'm gonna soak this in some oil. Now the one that I would recommend is using some liquid burlife. Uh, the reason why we soak this gasket is because the liquid is going to help us pull a vacuum against the bottom of our flask and create a better seal. So I'm gonna soak the, the paper gasket and I'm gonna install it just like this. You can see there's two, two slots here for this rail. So I'm gonna insert that and push it all the way up to the back of this piece here. So once our metal is getting pretty close to molten, I'm gonna use the tongs to grab the flask and I'm gonna load it up on top of the flask cradle. Next, I'm going to push this back piece all the way in and pin it to that flask and tighten up the knob at the bottom. 
Lastly, I'm going to grab the tubing from the vacuum that comes in the Fuser 500 casting system and I'm going to attach it on this knob here and start the vacuum. That's going to pull a vacuum on my flask so that when we pour, we've got a little extra, little extra force acting on the metal to fill all those areas we need to fill. So once all of that is assembled, our metal is melted, our flask is ready, vacuum is on, we can grab the knob on the side of the unit over here and just tip it. That will pour the metal into the flask. We'll wait maybe 30 to 40 seconds, somewhere in that area, depending on how much metal is in there. We just want to make sure that it's, um, it's completely solidified before we tip this back and remove our flask. Now for the two ingot molds, these are very simple. Uh, all you have to do is once you have the two pieces locked together and this knob here is tightened, you can load these into the rail, push them all the way forward, and then put your back plate right up against it and tighten it in. That's all you have to do for both of these ingot molds. Okay, so now that you've seen the process and what that's going to look like, let's do a live demonstration where we're casting real metal in a real flask and see how it comes out. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, always feel free to contact us. So now that you've seen what the process looks like, let's do it for realsies. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Yeah. <laughs> For realsies. For realsies. And then... <laughs> <laughs>